we praise God for every song, every testimony. You see, your testimony, when you tell your testimony, it's what God has done for you. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, what God did for you. Brought me out of darkness into his marvelous life. Save my soul. Told me to live on in the name of Jesus. Live on. You shall live and not die. All right. Be a preacher today. Amen. We thank we praise God. Oh. Somebody just tell them thank you. I mean, from your heart, say thank you. Come on, child, lift your hand and say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we have some visitors today. Amen. Thank God for the presence of God. See, you have a church service without the presence of God, you ain't got nothing. Amen, but a, just a gathering of people. Spirit of God comes in. In the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures evermore. So when the Spirit of God comes in, he comes to heal, deliver, and set free. Tell the Lord, thank you. So we thank God for the presence of God. Amen. This is his house. Amen. And he ought to, we ought to let him have his way in his house. Amen. Even in our house. Everywhere we go, we're going to let the Lord have his way. Amen. We thank and we praise God for our, amen, our service right now, how he's blessed us. Amen. We give honor to, amen, thank God for the divine first lady, Bynes, amen, being here with us today. Amen. For all the preachers, amen, the spirit of God, we thank God tomorrow to our assistant pastor, Brown, amen, to visiting uh, elder Theodore Talbot. Amen. All the way from uh, Douglas, Georgia. Amen. Thank God for him. Amen. His lovely wife. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And we thank God for Elder Richardson. Amen. God bless you. Elder Finney. God bless you. Amen. Elder Marcel. Amen. God bless you to our church mother, evangelist. Amen. To all of our mothers. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for a very dear brother. Amen. And brother George Sarah. Amen. Who's come. Amen. To bless our ministry even more. His lovely daughter, Nadia. I did it right. Nadia. Amen. God bless you. Thank God we have a special brother also, a special brother near and dear to my heart. Amen. Um, who's helped me through, my God, the last, I guess, three years that I've known him, been a true brother indeed. Amen. He doesn't belong to the Church of God in Christ, but he is a Christian. He belongs to another Reformation. Amen. But he exemplifies, amen, what Christianity is all about. Amen. Thank God. Amen. He doesn't say much. Amen. He lets his actions speak louder than his words. Amen. But I thank God for Brother Thomas Pyle. Amen. God bless you. Amen. He's on an uh, abbreviated schedule today. Amen. And um, I just want to uh, pause at this time. Amen. He wanted to come and make a presentation. Amen. To the church, I believe. Amen. You can come at this time, Brother Pyle. Amen. To the church. Receive him with a hearty amen.
big parade in town. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that parade? You know where that parade went? It came right down Hamilton Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I just happened to be standing at, at the church when something happened, and I want to show it to you. Hold on. Uh, now, can I get somebody to help me out with this? Yes. Uh, Friends, uh, this is what I saw in front of your church, and it really moved me. Uh, this is a thing move. You all know who a thing move is? She is the world champion, Olympic champion, twice gold medalist in Tokyo. She ran the 400 meters and then the 800 meters. She's the first woman in America in 50 years from America to win. 440 meters in the Olympics. And she is from Trenton. She was born in Trenton. She went to Trenton High School. As I hear the testimonies today about humility from uh, the dear mother talking to us in Sunday school about humility and the great achievements that are possible through humility, I take my inspiration from someone like the Faith Moon, dedicated, devoted Christian. At a very young age, when I heard Elder Marcel talk about uh, his testimony, I was particularly struck by his thought that uh, we can't be boboing our way to heaven. We got to be disciplined. And we got to work for it. What a wonderful exemplar we have in the thing Mu, our native from Trenton. So I took this picture, and when I saw it on my phone, I thought, you know, I know where this thing belongs. I know where this has to go. Now in the back, if I may, Pastor knows I'm also interested in history. So I took a little history on the thing Mu, and uh, she's a fantastic athlete, her coach said, the best female I have ever had, says her coach from TCU. And then she makes her own testimony. As a follower of Christ, our main goal is to live in the image of Jesus in order to connect to God and to get to God. That's what she said. I believe when God is ready to give you blessings, he gives it to you with all intentions. In this case, keeping one eye at the top, never at the bottom. And there's more here, you can read this later, but it moves me uh, deeply. I also uh, got online and did a little history about this particular church building that you're so blessed to have. This is the Victory Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, of course. Previously, you may know this was the Hamilton Avenue Methodist Episcopal Church. And there's some history here. I went back and looked in the Trenton history to see who were the people who put this building together, and that might be of interest. And then I figure, since I'm relatively new to your tradition here at the Church of God in Christ, I better be studying up on some of that history. So I put together a little something for the next person who might come in. Church of God in Christ. This is off the website. Oh, yeah. And this is where I've been learning about uh, Elder C.H. Mason. Oh, yeah. And the uh, good work that he did, yeah. as I have learned. Oh. And then uh, how it's all going on down in Memphis, Tennessee, in the uh, Mason Temple. Oh, yeah. So these things, I, if I may, I'll just stick them back here so that if you ever take it off the wall, you have a little history right there. So I just wanted to let you have this. Thank you, Brother Paul. Give him another hand. Inspiration especially for the young people. Amen. Thank God. Let's give him another hand. Thank God for that wonderful, wonderful presentation. Put your hands together. Thank God. That wonderful effort 
Amen. It's good to, amen, uh, to, to appreciate people, amen, when they go above and beyond and do extra things. Amen. And it's good to know your history from whence you come. Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. So at this time, we go back. Amen. At this time, we, uh, we're preparing to hear the word of God. Amen. I did that presentation early because um, Brother Powell may have to step out. Amen. But we have a preacher today. Amen. A preacher in the, when we were children, younger, amen. Maybe we're the only kids that did it, but we used to play church, you know, and take turns preaching. And uh, he'd go and I'd go and then Mikey would go. One day we was at Bethel and we messed around and was playing around. My God, we had to stop. Because I'm telling you, the, the spirit of God, my God, it, it, it shook us, and we got very afraid. Yeah. Amen. That was before we were saved now. But thank God, we all saved now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And all declaring, amen, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, this is my brother, Theo. Amen. Theo Talbot. When we were young children, and um, his father's married to my mother. And uh we went out to eat one day. We went somewhere with Big Dad. And we were me and Mikey introduced Theo to Big Dad. He said, Big Dad, this is our stepbrother. Big Dad said, pardon me? No, he said, he said, I beg your pardon. That's what he said. Beg your pardon? That's my step. He said, no, 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 no. There's no step. That is your brother. He said, and that's my grandson. Amen. So we thank and we praise God. Amen. This is my brother. And I love him, you know, with all my heart. From Douglas, Georgia. Amen. Glad tidings, assemblies of God. Amen. Is the church he attends. He's the assistant pastor. Serves under Pastor Williams. Amen. In Douglas, Georgia. Doing a fantastic job down there. And God is blessing him. Along with his wife, Latrice. Amen. And uh, we thank God. So I'm asking you to sit attentively and prayerfully as the man of God comes, amen, to present the word of God unto us. At this time, I want to ask everyone to point your hands this direction towards this preacher and say, God bless, God bless. Elder Talbot. God, God send God your word through this man of God. Amen. get started, can, um, can we give the real Henri his due? Because yeah. Jesus is in the building. Jesus is in the middle. His Holy Ghost is in the 
voice in the church and the church is just too quiet. Everybody else making noise, but the church is quiet. My God, thank you, Jesus. He already told us how we're supposed to act when we enter into his court. Mm. My God, my God. I'm trying to behave, but I feel at home. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, don't, I, I can't sing like my brother. So don't expect no song, but but mother, when I get by myself, sometimes I just
And this don't look like a hospital to me. But I thank God that God has given him the strength to come and continue his work. I thank God for Elder Richardson in the room. Another buddy of mine, we go back. And uh, Elder, Elder Finney, praise God, thank God, he taught me how to shout. Give him a minute. He's just warming up. He might go ahead and yeah. He, he, he was, I think I see some carpet burns. Praise God. Thank you. He's been in the house. Uh, Elder Marcel, God bless you, sir. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Mother Clark. God bless you. Yes, it's been a long time, but thank God I'm seeing you today, Mother Clark. Uh, Mother Tucker, God bless you. Yeah. Listen, I, I I see some new friends, All right. and I don't know your name, but I thank God for you. I thank God for you. I thank God, and, and y'all might, I, you know, this might be my last time, but I, I, you know, so let me say what I'm going to say. I, I don't see some faces that was here. All right. All I don't want to cry, but listen, sometimes God cleans up house. All right. And, right. and it's going to go with my message, and I didn't even know it, but you know, sometimes you got to watch who's in your shit. All right. Because right. if one's paddling one way, and another's paddling another way, the shit won't go nowhere. I'm going to leave that alone. Praise God. Praise God. For, for my new family brother, uh, 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 Brother Tom Powell, God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for, for, for your love and your support and your brotherhood. Thank God for you, sir. Thank God for you. Now listen, there's the word coming and I'm not going to be long. Thank God. Praise God. I'm not going to shout on that alone. Praise God. Listen, if you get with me, I'm going to get with you and we're going to get out and maybe go get some fish or some chicken or some steak together. Amen. Praise God. Listen, I believe in saying what God said and sit down and move out the way. Right. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Let him do what he's going to do. Praise God. But listen, I, I need to be able to sleep tonight. I need my prayers to be heard. I can't have my prayers hindered, Elder Finney. So before I even give y'all what God has given me to give to you, let me give honor where honor is most due. First to the First Lady of this house. God bless you, First Lady Bonds. All right, all right. But the First Lady in my house. Right. My boo-boo, my boo thing, my everything. The cream in my tea, because I don't drink coffee, but I do put cream in my tea. Don't judge me, drink your own tea. Right. But to my baby, my love, the apple of my eye. Right. Sister Tyler, Lady Tyler. I thank God for her and I love her. My God, when I feel the push, that's her pushing me. Praise God. And also for when I feel a sit down, that's her telling me to sit down. Because God speaks to her, thank God. I thank God that she sees the vision in me. And, and my God, if I can just tell you some of the things that she has given me to encourage me along this way. You're not alone, thank you, Jesus. Praise God for a good woman. Y'all don't hear me, thank God for a good spouse. <laughs> Let me leave that alone. Praise God. Listen, there is a word for the house today. And again, I said I'm not going to be with you long. If you get with me, I will get with you. In other words, as the Bible says, we touch and agree. Yeah. 